Wait. Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to the Messy Desk. Today we are going to be making our stack a note, stack a belly band, stack a pocket, and stack a border tuck. These are an element from the November fav My Favorite Things Junk Journal Challenge. So you were to take 15 of your favorite items and make my favorite. 15 favorite items. I'll leave the details video for that challenge in the description box down below. There's still plenty of time for you to join us and to be able to make and finish a journal. So I have some of the pages that I've already made for my little journal that I'm making. That's the little box journal where we took the box from Dollar Tree and I am turning it into a journal. And so I'm going to add those right onto pages that I already have started. So here, this is going to be my very first page when you open the journal because I just think that that reindeer is adorable. And so I'm going to add my stack a note to this first page. So a stack a note is just like it sounds, you're going to stack some paper in the front of your journal. We are able to use copy paper um, as, as much as you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and I have this scrap page from, from something else that we were working on for this journal. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half. Okay, now remember, each of your element, you build your element, you also have to embellish it with at least three items, okay? So I'm going to build my stack a note, and I'll show you how we do this. And this originally came about, I usually like to use those uh, note, notepads, and uh, but sometimes, sometimes you don't have a notepad. <laughs> So there's, there we go. So they can all be the same size. They can be a variety of size. They can all be the same paper. They can be a variety of papers. Um, okay, so stacking, stack a note, you just go ahead and you literally glue down and stack your note. So here's the first one, glue down. And another one. So just like that, we're going to go ahead. And you can have several that are the same size. But this time I ha also have these smaller ones. So I'm going to go ahead and add those. I like to add these to a journal to give me some extra journaling space. Um, I use this a lot in my list journals. You can literally, in the purse journals that I make, that's a, the journal that back in the day when, you know, they used to leave the house and <laughs> I would make a purse journal. It's a little, they were a little smaller than this, but I would do stack of notes in there and literally I could write a note to somebody else and go ahead and rip it off and, um, so that was something I, I would do for, for that. Um, okay, so now we need to, so we've stacked four pages on top of each other. I think that that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and cut this doily. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and put it down. So let's get my glue book out. My glue book is actually the book that I chose as one of my 15 items now. I did add in this book when I needed to do the book pages. But it's also coming in handy because today we'll be able to use those plain pages that are in it. Oh, look at that. I'll have to save that. I need to use that glue up. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead put this down. Trying to 
kind of center it. Okay, so there we go. Gives me a beautiful top. And the glue is easy to ball up and get it to go. Okay. And so we can still go ahead, get to our other pages under here. I, I really like that. Okay, so that's one item added. And we need to add a couple more. And, you know, I'm thinking this Santa's workshop might be kind of fun to add. And I'm going to add it down here. So maybe this is the list of things I need to make for Christmas. Okay, so there's two things have been added. And so you can decorate the bottoms of your pages. Okay, so just like that, and this one I'll go ahead and put down in this direction. So we just trimmed that washi in half, and that would be that would be good right there. Okay, um, that is a stack of note. Okay, now you can put all of your embellishments up here at the top um, if you wanted to, or you can decorate your note papers. And like I did there. Okay, so there's our stack of note. And next we need a stack of belly band. So I'm that actually could go right here or right here. Let's see what kind of so your belly band can go top to bottom like that and then your thing your item could go in from this side so I think that's what we'll do here okay yeah I like that look okay oh we're still here, so that you can just put down a belly band. That would not, that's not what we're supposed to be doing here, Julie. Okay, so we're stacking a belly band. So, we need to get the glue off. I'm going to cut, I'm just going to cut this. Sometimes. <laughs> okay, so I'm just cutting those pieces off because they have glue on them. And then getting the glue off the table. And I would have just gone ahead if I wasn't making this video and continued and made that even though that wasn't what I wanted. Um, but since we're making a video, let's see. Okay. Checking to see what, oh, you know what? This is actually a better place for a belly band because here you can write, but this probably not. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll build our belly band here. And I'm going to start with this Santa. Now let's do these guys. Okay, so we're going to go up here. This is from the Santa and Mrs. Claus digital kit from Dear Julie Julie and these postcards that I used in this kit are part of my Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus collection I actually collect Mr. and Mrs. Santa Clauses I have over 500 sets I've been collecting for 37 
38, 38 years. Maybe 39. I'm going to have to look and see when I got that first one. Okay, so I have this. So what we're going to do is we're literally going to build a belly band here. Okay, and um, I am going to want them to be a little thicker. So I'm going to put them on. I'm going to use this that we have over here. Go ahead and line her up. Gonna grab her. So I'm just adding some glue to the back, trying to use up what I. I had a lot left from the the doily. It, it goes through those little holes on the doily. Okay. So there's that. And then I think we'll come in and grab some of our tissue. So I picked up this tissue at Dollar General. It has been so much fun to use this. Okay. We'll go ahead and... Oh, I ripped off a year. <laughs> Be more careful, Julie. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get some glue on this tissue paper. And we'll put this on this paper also. It just is going to make the items that I can use here thicker. Also going to go ahead and some of my washi on here. Now I have built done this and built these without adding it for my own personal journals but if I'm going to give a journal away or sell it I'm going to want it to be a little <laughs> the belly band to be stronger. Okay so there we go we have her and we have him. Okay. We have this piece of washi. So basically, I'm making my own, like cardstock here. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and kind of fussy cut around him, but bigger. Because I need the, I'm probably going to need the, the area, and the same with this little guy. So that gives me several little pieces that I can use as I start to build this belly band. So I'm going to want something down at the bottom as a base. And Okay, and sometimes what happens is I might have something that's almost big enough to make the whole belly band. Um, but you can also go across from side to side. And I think today that's what we're going to do is we'll do 
um, across the page, side to side here. I'm looking for, on the messy desk, okay, so I have this. Now we have some washi over here. So to make sure that whatever gets put over here sticks, I'm gonna go ahead and add some double-sided tape. Okay, so double-sided tape, add my new washi tape, and then I'm gonna add some double-sided tape here. Maybe it doesn't want to. Okay. So what that tells me is I need to put something underneath here also, okay, that I'm going to be able to. So I'm going to go ahead, because there's paper under here now, and that will grab on. So let's go ahead and we'll add this piece. This is stacking. Oh, want, want our glue on the top. So today's video is mistakes and all that you still can use all these these items okay so um, we're gonna go ahead and put our glue on the top of this and put this underneath here I like the side with the more blue okay so that's gonna be like that then we can take Mrs. Claus and we can go ahead and put our glue on here and then also on the edge over here. Actually, put it on her, on the edge of her. Okay, so this is going to grab onto the edge of our page. She's going to gra grab onto the belly band and we have started to build our stack of belly bands. So do you see that? It wasn't quite long enough but we're able to connect it by adding those other pieces. Okay. Isn't she cute? She's working with that little doll right there. So cute. And so then we have Santa and what I'm going to do with Santa is I'm actually going to add him and we might not need all these oh there so we're collaging basically we're collaging a belly band here. Lots of collaging in this. Okay, so I'm going to add that there. So I need to go ahead, we'll put some glue here. We'll put some glue right here where that's going to touch underneath. Okay, so we've got our glue here and our glue here. Now when you're doing this, you might also want to have a piece of plastic underneath in your once your belly band is put across just put put your piece of plastic under so that should something some glue get on something okay so there's our plastic so that's an important part right there um, you can also add 
you know, scrap papers underneath to help Okay, so if I put this one under here and Santa can touch it. Okay, and then here. And this is just because this um, washi tape, because of the washi tape, and it's not going to, this glue is not going to stick to that washi tape. So there we go. And then we're going to want to add our Santa. over here. And like I said, I think I'm going to go ahead and have him, we'll have him line up. So he's going to go ahead and he's going to have some glue on his edge here. Okay. And then We'll put some glue on this edge here and that's how he is going to be attached to this belly band okay just like that and like that i'm going to cut this little piece that I used underneath. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in the Rapunzel here. So this is golden thread. And um, before I found this, I was using the gold thread from Michael's. And you can find it where they sell their thread. It'll be, they'll have probably have several types and colors of metallic thread and that is where I like I said that's where I used to get it before I found the Rapunzel hair and I got this on clearance at I believe Hobby Lobby I'm pretty sure it was Hobby Lobby um, it was yeah I'm pretty sure it was Hobby Lobby might have been Michael's though. <laughs> and but I do know it was Clarence. And I was like, oh my gosh, look at that. Look at all that thread. Okay, and I'm just gonna make a little messy string. This will be one of my three embellishments. And I'm going to add it down here at the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and remember all your tools are, um, you can use them, any tools, as much as you want. Okay, so they are what we call, what we call a free item. Means that you can use them. They don't count against your 15 items that you chose. Okay, and then from my 15, so the doilies were part of my 15. And the bling is part of my 15. So the October party, the VIP, is today. So those that finished their journals and posted them in the finished posts, you have been invited already. And so I tagged you in the post that has the um, link to the VIP group. 
I will be um, adding the link for the uh, live video for the party um, in just a little bit. And so your digital is in there. It's called Blue Winter. And um, the Blue Winter digital will be available tomorrow in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop for the rest of, for everybody else. Okay, so there's one, two, we need to add a third, third item. Okay, and I think we'll go ahead and we'll do one of those, um, the fun little tabby things. Oh, we can't because that's a fold out. It's a fold out there. Yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to add a tabby thing to a fold out. Okay. but we can add some washi. I just got this little piece of washi right here. I just want to break up this white. Just breaking up the white that was on top of Santa there. And then we can go ahead and add a piece down here. I love the way the collaging. So there we go, and like I said, we'll be able to, to add a card or tag there, um, right there. So that's a build a belly band. So we've stacked a note, we built a stack of note, we built a stack of belly band. Now we need to stack a pocket. And we have this one. Okay, so this one had our flip-flop in it. This looks like a great place to build a pocket. I love that we have the holly stencil there. Still haven't decided if we're adding that in. Okay, so for our build a pocket, I'm going to go ahead and I like him. And... Um, I want to keep with something that is going to look that I'm going to like there. Okay. Okay, so I don't want to lose this awesome holly, the awesome holliness. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to cut. I've got my thumb telling me where to cut right there. Okay. So just like that. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to want Santa to be on top on this one. So we'll go ahead and we're going to put glue on the L of that so on the left side because it's going on the left side and across the bottom 
because obviously we don't want to cl close off the top because then we won't have a pocket. Okay, so that's where we're going to put that one. Okay, and now this one, we're going to go ahead and add our glue right here. And that will close it for sure. We need to go ahead and figure out, okay, it's just it's between the 13 and here that we need to start. That needs to go on that edge across the bottom. And then we need to close off this pocket. Okay, so you're able to build your pocket right on the page. Now, you could go ahead and build this on a paper and then cut it out. But... For time's sake, I like to do the things that are faster, and so I have found this building a pocket to be a faster way to build a pocket. Okay, now we need to add our three items, and I'm not sure that that's going to be the 13th, so I'm thinking a little washi right there is in order. We're going to go ahead and put some washi. We could have cut that off or... Okay, so there's that washi. And then we have a couple pieces of washi left. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them in the papers because... I don't want to waste them. Okay. And I'll tell you, some of my favorite th um, decorations have been the scraps. Okay. So, um, Another one of my things that I've been using is the fingernail polish. And so let's go ahead. And he has this amazing golden sleigh that I just think needs to be sparkly. So I'm going to sparkling his sleigh. And remember that where you touch with this, it's also going to dry with a, um, it dries clear, but it will be shiny. So kind of want to try and stay in the lines here if I can. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. If you're using fingernail polish. Okay. We'll go and add it to this back piece too. So do you use fingernail polish or glitter glue? I like this. It dries really fast. It dries really flat. Yeah, this is the number 544, and you want to know that because they do have, I think it's 991, and it's a different, totally different consistency. It, um, it has, the glitter is, is bigger. And I just don't find that you have as much control as you do with with this one so okay so I'm just coming around my sleigh make sure it looks very magical okay so that gives us two of our things and then I think we'll just go ahead and whoop 
we'll add some bling, some dot, dot, dot. So I like to do the dot, dot, dot thing um, for etc. and then some more, 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 more. Just go ahead and add that right on there. Okay, so boom, we have our build a pocket, and next we need our border tuck. So we have two of these over here, and I think we'll do it on this one. So a border tuck is where you just have the piece that might be over to the side and um, oops, okay so if you had this here and it was attached here and here and you were able to put stuff in. That is a border tuck. So we are going to build a border tuck. And we are going to start with this. Okay, so this is another page from the this is actually the postcard ephemera page from the Santa and Mrs. Claus digital kit. And it has Santa and Mrs. Claus in it. And then it has some children that are dressed up as Santa and Mrs. Claus. And they're actually out filling stockings. And um, so I am just going to go ahead and get an idea here um, I can cut this down this was a Christmas card but the way that it was done it might have even been like a gift packaging Remember, your tuck space does not have to be squared off like that one was. Okay. So I like to get an idea of what I'm building. So that would also be a tuck space. Okay. Oh, I like this. Okay, I know what we're going to do. So we have this. This is from the cover. Okay, so if this was down here, and then we can build up. And that will give us that, that pocket, um, that, that tuck space, okay? Since it's a tuck space, I don't need to close in this side. I just need to close in this side and the bottom. Again, this is from the paper pad, the cover of the paper pad that I chose. So I can go ahead and put those down. Okay, and then next I'm going to go ahead, because this one's going to be underneath that, I'm going to go ahead and get this one ready to be put down. Okay, so I'm going to use my hand to block off where I don't want to put glue. Okay, because believe it or not, I can have already forgot where I wanted the glue by the time I get it turned around. I know, it's especially at 4.30 in the morning.
Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and come across right here and right here because that will help to um, close off those two sides. Now we can go ahead and put in our plastic here if we want to. Having one that actually fits is better. There we go. That, that one will help. Okay. And then we're going to bring this one in and it's going to have glue down this side, across here, and to the, just inside the red line there, okay? And you see I've got my finger here. I'm going to go ahead and go around those three edges. And we've already added glue to the edges of the two pieces that are here. And that will just help to close off our collaged stack a tuck space, okay, or border tuck. Okay, so it's on the border, but it's a tuck space. And there we have that awesome, awesome space right there, okay. And uh, now we need to add our other three items. And I have my tree punch. So I'm going to go ahead and punch a couple of trees from out of this paper right here. Okay. And... Then I think, yeah, let's cut a couple out of the bell paper. The bell paper. That cracks me up. Bell paper. That just cracks me up. Okay, and if you, um, you know, you can kind of, on these, you can see what you're, what you're doing if you want to. I was trying mostly to save paper there. Okay, so this is a Fisker's punch with the two trees. I love punches because they're fast. <laughs> okay, so I can add my little red tree down here. And we can save this. I can add it somewhere else in the journal. And we can even, you know, like, I, I'm pretty sure we can do this. Haven't done haven't done this particular thing. Okay, now I want my I want my tree parts to Oh, there we go. Okay. Since we have our doily Oh, I like it. Okay, so we need to add some glue to our trees. We have our big tree. Let's make sure it doesn't go over the, the side of the tuck there with glue. Our little tree. Sorry. 
our big tree, our little tree. I forgot I was on the iPad. I hope I hope I've been in the right spot for the majority of this. The iPad um, is working much better for uploading and everything. So there's my three trees. And let's go ahead and we'll add some washi down here. I'm getting down to the end of the stuff that I have, you guys. The end of my stuff. Okay, so there's that, and then we'll take this piece of washi, and let's add it right over here, or no, let's add it on this leaf. Okay, and then... Um, We could go ahead, you could use the washi and cover Mr. Charles's name here if you wanted to. I'm going to leave it, but you could, could do that as well. Um, let's go ahead, we'll do a Rapunzel hair thing up there at the top. You could add little stars to the tops of your trees if you had them. That would be kind of fun. I haven't gotten to use these trees in a long time. I have a really cute tree that is a die cut also, and I'm really excited because I'm working on the craft room over there and getting an area that I might actually get to use my die cut machines again because they are, where they are, they just get covered up with other stuff. I can't even get to them, so I have started moving moving the stuff um, it's, it's a process everything is a process because I have it's like I have so many rubber stamps I have so many digital stuff oh you know what let's go ahead and add our fingernail polish here real quick So I like to add it when there's green. I love the way I love the way the glitter looks on the greenery. Okay. Okay, so just adding some of the number 544. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and add or add that right there. And What did I do with that punch? <laughs> okay, I can't see. Now we'll 
go ahead and add our little poinsettia. Again, one of my favorite punches, the poinsettia and the one that I use for the fluffy flowers. They came in a set and I got them many, many years ago at Target of all places. Just randomly one day I was at Target. I don't go to Target that much. I mean, I go so infrequent that every time I go, the craft section's totally different. <laughs> it's like this time I went and all of a sudden they have cricket stuff. Okay, so there we go. There's our border tuck. I love it. Um, and so you'll be able to put something right inside there. And yeah, so, and I'm excited. We used the, the tree punch, punch your punch. So we'll be able to come in and add trees somewhere else in the journal because, you know, I don't like to waste things. So we will be doing that. And so here we go. Our border tuck. And look at, I ended up pulling out the papers that were for the other journal that were from this paper pad. Okay, our pocket. And here we have washi, bling, and the fingernail polish. So very simple. And that will give us a little pocket there. Okay, so we'll have a little pocket there. So that's our build a pocket. Build a border tuck, build a pocket. Here we have our belly band. So we'll be able to put something right in there. And on this one, we have our stack a note. Okay, so stack a note, stack a pocket, stack a border tuck, stack a belly band or build. It'll either build or stack. Um, so that is today's uh, element. My favorite things. Okay, stack a note, stack a belly band, stack a pocket, and stack a border tuck. So I hope you enjoyed this. I will add the Christmas paper craft playlist right up here for your viewing pleasure and crafty company, as well as a Christmas embellishment video, a stack of something will be there. And remember, YouTube's going to pick something that they think you want to watch and it'll be right here. Don't forget, if you finished your October journal and you posted it in your the finished, um, I'm finished post, that your invitation is out there and the party begins today at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And so the link for the live party will be in the special VIP group waiting for you. Um, that will show up in just a little bit. And I will do a quick video, um, Facebook Live, in that group with the instructions on what to bring to the party um, if you want to craft along. Okay, so everybody else look forward to Blue Winter. It will be in the shop tomorrow. Um, and of course, uh, we always do the new digitals at 50% off um, for the first weekend that they're available. So here we go. I hope you enjoyed this. Which one's your favorite? This is my favorite. I do love to build the belly bands because a lot of times I have things that are just not quite long enough to fit across. and um, But I, I love that. And stack a note is a great way to add some more journaling space to a journal. So don't forget that, yes, I'm doing Christmas here, but these ideas can be used in your other journals you can go ahead and distress things and make them look old um, 
I use a lot of white paper, so I don't do a lot of the distressing because then you have to distress everything, I feel, because that's what my OCD tells me. And so it's either all or nothing, so I do nothing. <laughs> and, yeah, so find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. And some of you, I'll see you later today. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.